Good morning, everyone. It is May the 6th today, and I am Pastor Dan, here with devotions for us this morning. This is the 25th day of Easter, and our invitation, invitation for this week comes from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead, and Christ Our Bible song this morning comes from Psalm 89. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. The heavens praise your wonders, Lord, your faithfulness too in the assembly of the for who in the skies above can compare with the Lord, who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. Who is like you, Lord God Almighty? You, Lord, are mighty, and your faithfulness surrounds you. Lord, where is your former which in your faithfulness you swore to David. Remember, Lord, how your servant has been mocked, how I bear my, in my heart the taunts of all the nations, the taunts with which your enemies, Lord, have mocked, with which they have mocked every step of your anointed one. Praise be to the Lord forever. Amen and amen. Our Bible reading comes from John chapter 10, verses 24 to 30. The Jews who were gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. I don't know what popped up for you. But for me, uh, I guess what popped out is, on the one hand, the glory of God, as we read about in the first part of Psalm 89, but um, also the reality that um, there are some people at some stages of their lives who just cannot hear they cannot hear what God has to say to them. Um, Jesus faced this in the Pharisees, the Jews who were around him. He told them that he was the Messiah, but they wouldn't listen. And sometimes, sadly, that is the truth in our world today, too. But it is still our opportunity, our glory uh, from God. To him again to share that truth to share that reality uh, even if people can't hear let's pray faithful savior i'm so grateful for your commitment to me that will never let me be snatched away from you I falter in my faith and feel the pull away from you by the siren call of sin and temptation. But you keep me standing in grace, strengthened and powerfully preserved. Fill me with your spirit to fight the good fight today. Amen. 
now receive God's blessing, brothers and sisters. Now, may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything for doing everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.